Hey everybody, just checking in to let you all know I'm still here. Um, I know it's been a little while. I'm on P3 now. I uh, was out of town last weekend. I went on a little girls trip in Florida, which was really nice. I had such a great relaxing time. It was perfect weather and pretty much did nothing except lay out by the pool and hang out with my friends and, and eat a little bit. Uh, it was really hard. I'm on, let's see, actually the day I left, I left last Thursday to go there. That was P3 day one. You know, I could have planned a little bit better, but that's just the way it was. And I'll tell you, for all of you who are just entering P3 and like, or going to be entering P3 and doing it well out of town, there's definitely challenges for sure. I mean, it's not the same as having all your comfort foods, not comfort foods, but your healthy stuff that you normally eat at home. You know, there's only so much bringing of your own food you can do and when you're staying at a hotel it's really all eating out so I did the best I could but it's very hard when you're eating in restaurants just entering p3 when you're coming off of you know eating nothing um, and eating all your own prepared food so uh, it was definitely a challenge did the best I could I'm still within my my, my two pounds within my liw so I'm fine but it definitely presented some some challenges, and I will say if I were to ever do the whole protocol over again, I will plan and make sure that my P3 starts in my home, you know, for a good week before I have to rush off anywhere. So food for thought for any of you making plans for the future. Um, it's just, uh, let's see, it's going well. This is my second round, so... In comparing it to my P3 from my first round, um, hard to say. I don't recall all the little tidbits. I'm not a big journaler, so I didn't write all these little things down. But the one thing that's really on top of my mind right now is I am really tired. Um, you know, on P2, excuse me, yeah, P2, you just have so much energy and everything just you just, everything's great. There was just, you know, you're invincible. Uh, I'm really tired. Yesterday, I really noticed it. Like, I was ready to go to bed. Like, at like 9.30, I was so tired. I just wanted to get into bed. And that was not the case on P2 at all. Had no problem at all sleeping on P2, but I wasn't tired when I got into bed. Um, and then today I've noticed just at work, I was just tired. I really felt like I could just take a nap and once again, did not have any of those feelings on P2. So, um, probably need to get some supplements going for me. Um, probably get some more B12 and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know any of you experiencing that. Maybe it's just an adjustment, you know, maybe next week I'll feel better. I really don't remember so much of this from my last round. Um, but I do just want to make note that it's so interesting, you know, how much food plays a role in how we really feel. I mean, you know, obviously we, we know that, but to really know that and to experience it firsthand going from P2 to P3, going from eating no starch, no sugar, very, very, very clean foods to starting to add in a little bit more, it's amazing how quickly your body can notice it and want to show some signs and effects from the new foods that you're eating. So that's that. Um, what else? So I'm just chugging along in my first week of P3 and just adding foods in very slowly. It's pretty much just cheese and uh, macadamia nuts is what I've added. Um, Oh, and a little, I tried a little bit of Greek yogurt. I'm still noticing from my last experiment that you guys watched, I had cut out some fruits. Um, you know, I'm still noticing that I'm possibly still quite sensitive to the fructose. So I'm going to take the fruits easy in P3. And we'll see what happens. I don't know. Hopefully I'll stabilize well. I'll keep you guys posted. Shout outs to all my faves, all of you guys, you know who you are, you're all doing great. Summer Blonde, I cannot believe you're five pounds under LDW. Who does that without trying? I mean, that's amazing. All I got to say is your body really works well, really works 
so well because you're the HCG poster child. So you get the award for just doing HCG so well and a body that reacts to it tremendously. So congratulations to you. Um, Lori, HHCG Crazy, and Mary Beth, awesome, always. You guys are doing so great. And um, Lori and I are chugging along together in P3. So uh, we're both pretty much right on the same schedule, I think. And, um, oops, excuse me. It's my little kitty. Um, now I'm distracted, so what else was I going to say? Um... Mm -hmm. Who else was I going to, you know how that goes, you were on track and then I just got thrown off now. Um, I have lots of other friends that have just recently started HCG and they're not vloggers or anything so you probably won't be hearing from them but I'm really excited for them and I'm so happy that they get to experience this wonderful life of HCG. But I will say I miss phase two, guys. I really do miss it. It is such a good feeling. And it works so well for me because I don't like having a lot of choices. So phase two is great. Phase two is great. I mean, I don't know. I might do another little round, but who knows? It just feels so good, you know? You just miss that feeling. It's hard to get that feeling again in phase three. Anyways, I'm not going to babble. All of you guys, keep up the great work. Happy, happy everythings. And uh, I promise I will try and check in really soon. I'm watching all you guys, though. So don't think I'm not uh, right here with you, thinking about you all the time. Okay? Take care, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.